I hold my hands up. Like a lot of golfers, I want to play with the latest and greatest golf equipment. But what happens when I play with golf clubs that are 50 years old? Let's go and find out. Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields. If you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Smash that like button if you enjoy this video and leave me a comment down below. All right, what are these irons we've got? These are some of the original Ping irons dating back to 1969. They're the Ping Carsten ones. I've got three to sand wedge and they are in pristine condition. It's gonna be interesting because I'm not sure I'm gonna hit them as far, but I'm excited for the challenge to see what happens when I play with golf clubs that are 50 years old. So before bringing them out onto the golf course, I wanted to know how far do I hit these irons? So I hit them on the GC quad launch monitor and they were about where I expected them to be. Didn't go as far. So the seven iron was carrying 164 yards. That's like my modern day eight iron. The four iron was carrying at 201 yards, again, like my modern day five iron. And the pitching wedge was carrying 120, like my modern day gat wedge. And it makes sense, the lofts are weaker. I'm gonna put the lofts along the bottom, but that's about it. They felt and flighted brilliantly. Surprised me actually, for a club that's 50 years old. Okay, so first shot. Look at these, they're in, in pristine condition. And they're going with three iron. And what's really interesting, with this iron, this is what makes it the original. There's actually no number at all on the sole. You've only got number on that toe. Now, Ping really came into the industry making putters. And this was the first mass produced iron and the first iron that Ping ever, Ping player won on tour using these irons. Think about how many victories they've had since. Right, three iron for the first golf shot. Oh, that works. That works. Felt good. Original grips and original shafts. Honestly, the grip's a little bit slippy. It definitely needs a, a redo, but phew, cannot fault the goal shot. And by the way, check out this bag. That is a classic. Okay, so that was my first shot. Probably only went what I would say is like a five iron, four iron distance. Still got a long way into the screen. I'm after it six iron from about 150 here. Oh, that was ripped. Right, now for a putt. Now this is one of the old school ping putters. And if you're ever unsure about where the name ping came from, check this out. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a cowbell. Still works though. But listen to that ting. Oh. This is one of the originals. give myself that one. So what have I learned so far about hitting these irons that are 50 years old? Well, first off, they feel great. I'm having a lot of fun hitting them. I find that the flight and the feel is superb and they're spinning a lot, even though the grooves are old. I suppose that little bit more loft helps. But with that little bit more loft, they actually don't go as far as my current irons, about 10 yards less. The bottom of the club digs into the ground a little bit, which is also a slight negative. Bar that, I'm having a lot of fun. Looking forward to playing a few more holes with them. They're just classics, aren't they? They are superb, love them.
Guys, check out what I've just found in the bag. I didn't look massively through it before. I've kind of filled it with bits and bobs, camera and my phone and stuff, but look at this. In here is a box of Dunlop 65 golf balls. And check out this. This is still in effectively what was called a sweet wrapper. I mean, this must be dating back to somewhere similar time frame to the, uh, to the golf clubs. I'll tell you what, if you want me to do a little video with the Dunlop 65, smash the like button. And if this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll do a review and a test of the Dunlop 65s. They are beauties. Can't believe I didn't see them before. Right, back to the irons. And a little stingy three iron. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh. So as I get to the end of the round, it's got to be said, I've been impressed with the irons. Irons that are 50 years old, they still performed well. I played well out there. Granted, I hit the ball maybe 10 yards less than what I would do normally, but they felt fantastic. They felt really good. Kind of got me thinking, do we always need new clubs? And granted, that's a, a massive exception for 50 years old, but a new club's giving us what we want all the time. And I've been out there and just played really well, and I've not got the latest and greatest. I think it's a lesson to be learned. You don't always need the shiny equipment. You don't always need the brand new gear. Get out and play golf and play it well. And that kind of shows that with some clubs that are ridiculously old, but I absolutely love them. I'm gonna keep hold of them and play with them again someday. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know, comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna see me test those Dunlop 65s I found in the bag, 20,000 likes and get them out on the golf course. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And that was the first ever set of ping irons that went on mass production. Awesome set, enjoyed them thoroughly. We'll see you next time.